Triple Line helps you sleep on trains is in the town of Tours, France. And I'm going to show you around one of the hostel that I've been staying at just so you can see just how different each hostel can be. The lobby is very similar to any other hostel you might come in contact with, with mounds of brochures and flyers of things to do, maps of the area. We're lucky this one's about five stories and it has an elevator. And then back here, water machine. And then you have internet access and the ability to print, but be careful because a lot of hostels, just like this one, they're about two to three times more expensive as the internet cafe that's just down the street. This one also has a snack machine and a place to get your coffee. We'll show you more upstairs. This one has hotel-like corridors with doorways on either side. There's a lot of people here. This is kind of a longer stay hostel. There's people that live in the area for about a month so you can rent these rooms out for a longer period of time or you can just stay here for at least a day. These they have the toilets every so often where there's the shower on one side and then the toilet on the other side. There's about four of these on each hallway for all of these rooms and I'll show you inside our room. Welcome to my private room. Just like dorm rooms, you're never going to know in the hostel what you're going to get. This one I actually booked a double bed, but this one came with two singles that I had to push together. It also has the luxury of table and chair, chest of drawers, a small closet. But when you, I say you never know what you're going to get, most European hostels, when you have a private room, they're going to come with a sink and a mirror for you to do some of your toiletry items or brush your teeth without having to walk all the way down the hall. One of my favorite parts about it is you can wash some of your underwear and socks in it in your own privacy. I always recommend these rooms for couples that are traveling together or small groups that want to have their own little space together. They're great so you can spread out some of your items, fill the uh, your clothes in the drawers, and, I, and you have your own privacy and a little bit of security, but you should always take your valuables with you, your passports, your money, your cameras. Don't leave them in here even though you can lock the door. One luxury that some hostels will have the option of is to be able to purchase a bathroom with it. So you'll have your own shower and toilet inside the room, but of course you're going to have to pay a little bit more for that. So I hope you enjoyed this room. It's a little bit of a downgrade from a hotel, but basically you pay what you get for in the hostel. So when you're in France, all wine helps you sleep on trains.